Hey everyone, Senraikai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 8th episode of the VTuber anime. So this show continues to be pretty fun, and I'm expecting, hoping this episode will be fun as well. So let's just jump on in and see what our VTuber girls are up to today. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button and subscribe to my Patreon for early access and to help me keep doing this sort of thing. And let us begin in 3, 2, 1, play. Uh, I feel like I missed something, but yes, I'm 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 okay with that. Oh wow, okay, we are we're having a nice scene here. I see. I'm in a very nice scene. <laughs> Why did you have to ruin it? Because you have an interesting filter over the screen, so like. <laughs> it's it's still nice though. Oh, that's a nice one, Mashiron. <laughs> Man, this scene is so cute and wholesome. What you gonna call her, though? <laughs> Mashiron, Macaron, yeah. I, I... Oh? Oh, well, I mean, that's... Yeah. <laughs> that's pretty funny. Oh, well, well. <laughs> ah, I didn't let us hear it. Wow, what an opening scene. <laughs> like... <laughs> like, I know they clarified this wasn't, like, romantic Yuri stuff, but... I mean, you can say that all you want. That still had that kind of feel to it. Like, if two dudes were doing that, you'd be yelling gay at the top of your lungs, I, I tell you that. Because that couldn't be any more gay if they tried. Even the shot of watching Mashiron going to her bed and all that, like, was some good stuff right there. Hi, <laughs> hi. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I did love, I did love her rationale for why she calls her Awa Chan. Awa, wa, wa, wa. But seriously, that scene would not have been out of place in a Yuri anime, the more I think about it. And in case you're curious, no, like, my eyes still just go to Kairu, like, every time she's on screen doing her baby stuff. That's, I might not, com I might not comment on it every time, because that just gets annoying after a while, but every time, my eyes go to her. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Understood. Oh no, got you zero. Whatever. Wonder if it's sold out because it's more popular now because you know she advertises it essentially, <laughs> right? That'd be funny. <laughs> the classic flavor. <laughs> Leperpus, <laughs> Leperpus, this day. Nande, Kyomo. I love when her voice gets like, gets like, uh, you know, husky. Is that the right word for it? Like, you know, deeper when she yells like that. <laughs> that is the issue. That is a big issue.
uh, sideways. <laughs> kita, kita, kita. Uh, I don't, I don't see it. Is someone steal or alcohol? <laughs> that's definitely a... That, that, uh, um, that's, that, that's mine. Uh, hey, that, that, come back, come back here. Just the audacity to just steal, steal this woman's alcohol. Don't you know who she is? <laughs> let's, let's beat this person up. Why are you stealing my alcohol? Oh, is that, uh... So we're doing it for her sake, okay. <laughs> is it just like a random fan or another VTuber? I assumed, I assumed it was a VTuber. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since she went viral, it got ruined. <laughs> I mean, understandable. I'm actually glad we're getting this sort of perspective because I'm pretty sure I commented on this a while ago, this sort of thing. Like how the original fans would feel with the new version of her. <laughs> I guess that's one way to do it. I'm not a degenerate. I'm not going to ruin my liver. I think there was a nod. It's hard to tell without the head. It's like, would you would you like some? It it's it's good. It it will cleanse your soul. <laughs> they call these people influencers, and she's a bad influence. Yeah, so alcohol, you have to kind of get used to the flavor. Because you drink it for the effect, and the flavor you just have to kind of get used to. <laughs> so is it really just like a random fan, not a VTuber? Because that's... Cause she just like knows where she lives. <laughs> that's a little bit concerning. <laughs> I guess doxing does happen, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, she, she's got a fridge in her background. <laughs> Cleaner than I expected. I'll help you unpack, yeah, she'll just invite some random fan over for that. That's just asking to get Rames right there. Right? <laughs> Yay, Awamashi! Shit, it's definitely gonna go down their nut love nest. Badly in love. The camera pans out and just, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's the thing about being a VTuber is you don't have to worry about having your room be presentable. <laughs> or your face being presentable. Because when I recorded some stuff, I move out of the background because it's you know, it looks kind of tacky to be back there. <laughs> this, we have a problem. We need to stop with the Gachi Zero. The one fan had, had the right idea. Save you from yourself. Hitoshi. <laughs> and please, please get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, da. My Shudo is pretty cute. I'm glad we're, you know, we got her as like a friend, you know. He's like one of the main friends of Awachan. Awa <laughs> <laughs> have YouTubers got to, you know, got to be careful about that sort of thing. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Her yatas are giving me life, I swear. Oh. 
She gonna take a picture of her. <laughs> really cute reaction. Oh, we're doing a two shot. <laughs> I want her to feel like I was part of it. <laughs> yeah, that's basically like newlywed like stuff right here. <laughs> and that smile on Majido's face was pretty good. It's so cute. I love all of this. But they're not in love or anything, guys. Remember, don't don't be fooled. Uh the hair tie in the mouth. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> uh, I would shout. I loved all of that. I absolutely loved all of that. Oh, God, I could not read at the time. <laughs> Humiliation finish. Right, okay, I cannot read this, people. <laughs> oh. A new outfit! That's the that's the big question. So Shua Chan. <laughs> She's copying her yatas. <laughs> oh, we're going, we're going. Oh, cans. <laughs> uh, that is, <laughs> that is horrible. <laughs> no human being would ever wear that outfit. <laughs> she stands out so much. I I look so uncomfortable to wear. Recycled fashion <laughs> truly is art. Like can I fantasy outfit? China dress. Go, oh, that looks pretty good. Gothic yeah, leader. Bunny. Reverse bunny. Hey, what's a reverse bunny? Cheerleader. No, seriously, what's a reverse bunny? I want to go back to that. Oh wow, that is an outfit. Wow. Should it's <laughs> Yeah, what what she what she, what she said. <laughs> oh yeah, please suck me in. Yeah, actually I actually quite like that outfit. I want to see her wear it. Can we, are we, is she actually going to wear that? Please tell me she's actually going to wear that. Oh. oh, that's not the same outfit, but I mean, that looks nice. <laughs> I mean, it actually looks like an outfit somebody. Let's do it. Before, you mean together. Yeah. <laughs> you don't be silly, Awachan. Th together, obviously. <laughs> Enough food today. <laughs> You know, just because she was wants to take a bath, it doesn't mean she's gonna, you know, <laughs> get get super grabby. I mean, she might, but just not not necessarily. Not necessarily. <laughs> Don't worry, 
I trust you to keep your fingers outside. <laughs> Shin Rai. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> How much time do we have left? Oh, we have, we have a lot. Okay. And here we go. Bath time. This has definitely been a Awa, Awa Chan and uh, Mashiro focused episode, and I'm all here for it. Oof. Not sure why they're wearing a towel in the bath. That's a little bit weird, but. <laughs> I think, thank you. <laughs> Well, no, but you, you, you do look pretty good, though. <laughs> well, we should clearly take out the towels so we can more directly compare. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> okay, okay. I mean, if you insist. I mean, I, 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 I can be convinced. Oh, did she bleed? Oh, she bleed. Oh, well, wow. Okay. <laughs> she is not messing around today. <laughs> well, then. Too bad we didn't get to, you know, get the POV from her, but things got pretty spicy there, that's for sure. <laughs> There's a little depth. Oh, yeah, we had lots of fun today. <laughs> no need to apologize. You did nothing wrong. If anything, I would should apologize for not following through on the scene. <laughs> okay. Okay. I get it, just just do it. <laughs> to put it mildly. Don't respond to sleep talking, I would, John. That would be nice. There's that the line. Because you can be yourself and open up to your audience and everything. <laughs> God, my heart. And you. <laughs> oh my god, my...
I love how we just added that blanket together. Everything I'm sure we'll do in the future. <laughs> That's probably enough sleep talking for one night. And end out the night with our pet names. Oh, it's so good. This is this a dream sequence? <laughs> I didn't quite finish reading that. <laughs> Some desktop wallpaper material right here. Yeah, I get mad for her sake. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. sighs> One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. <laughs> I just want to stop watering. Always in moderation. Okay. 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 That 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 was the eighth episode of the VTuber anime. Oh my god, what an episode that was. I don't even know where to start talking about it. Like <laughs> uh This was such a focused episode. Like this was all about the relationship between Awachan and Mashiro, like that, that is what the episode was about. And like Mash Mashiro, she's been around for a while, right? She's always been an important part of the show, like always been good friends with, with Awachan. Like, <laughs> you know, she's she's the mother and everything, right? She does the art for for her stuff. Like, you know, it's always been it's always been there, but like, it's never really gotten this <laughs> this level of focus before. And I definitely can't can't do this episode justice or anything like that. But I, I do, I do. This, this is the kind of episode that makes me wish I was more articulate. Maybe that I, that I could just like pause the recording, spend a few hours devising a good script to truly 
talk about the episode and why it's so good. But like, this is this is some beautiful stuff right here. Like, oh, this is not... okay. So I did pause the recording because I want to take at least a couple minutes to like really uh, put my put my thoughts together. Which uh, I think I've done it. I think I've done it to an extent now. Okay. So this episode, like. This is all about the bond between Awachan and Mashiro, right? Like they have a working relationship. They have a working relationship. They're obviously friends, and we got to see her come over there for an off, like an off collab and stuff like that. You know, brainstorming about the artwork and stuff like that. So obviously there was a work element to it, but obviously there's also a friend element to it. Like all the, uh, like especially the the phone stuff. Like we had some phone POV shots, which really I think did a beautiful job of just really capturing like the silly, fun couple of besties just having a good time at home sort of a sort of feel to it. Like that was just masterfully done for sure. And uh, especially like the one line when when they were doing the cooking where uh, Mashiro says something about Gachi Zero and like she says like it's like another like another seasoning that's being added to the food. Obviously, my recap doesn't do it justice, but that was a really cute, very cute, fun little scene between them. That really, like, you can really feel the closeness between them, right? Like, because this show, there's plenty of other VTubers that, and plenty of them have, you know, spent time with, uh, spent time with Awachan, then even done off collabs with, with Awachan, and she can get along with them pretty, pretty well for the most part, but I think this episode really encapsulated the difference, like, that Mashiro is a level above them, right? Like, like, I think you definitely got that, got that point across. But, but, uh, yeah, once we actually, like, ended the, the live stream, that's when we got a little bit more, more into the relationship stuff, because Mashita was one that suggested bathing together, right? Awachan was a little bit hesitant to do it, right? I mean, I mean, it could be a couple reasons for it, but one was definitely, like, uh, the, the temptation, you know? You don't want to just... Uh, do something that would, that would uh, damage your friendship with someone, right? So, but uh, you know, I should trust her, so it's it's no no real issue there. In fact, and she's also yeah quite a bit more bold. You know, we started talking a little bit about chest sizes and whatnot, and she basically says, "Hey, you want to take a look?" How, how does she phrase it? Yeah, have a good, have a good look at my chest and then decide, right? So I guess uh, I guess Abacham was just expecting her to still be wearing the towel. But as we uh, well, as we got to that shot, obviously we didn't see the front of it, but we saw enough where you could tell the towel was pulled down, and she just straight up exposed that beautiful raw chest, the opai, to Awachan, who got a great look at it. And I'm extremely jealous of that fact. But like the the kind of like shitting grin, like the impish smile on Mashido's face afterwards was is what was what really was what really made it. You know, follow, followed up by the little giggle. <laughs> And like she calls her Seiya some as like an insult. <laughs> that was also pretty funny. So that was already pretty all that was already pretty good. Like it, like the episode just kept getting better and better the more I watched it. <laughs> you know. And but eventually they end up in bed together with like a little bit of complaining about what happened, but obviously Abashan doesn't really doesn't mind that much. It's just like, you know, like some playful complaining kind of stuff, right? I mean, who in their right mind would complain about a beautiful girl showing them their bare breasts? Like, I don't think anyone would really complain about that honestly like if they do they they probably have some other issue that they need to address but but anyway like uh to the scene though where, where things started to really ramp back up is when she went under the covers for some um sleep talking right and that's something i've seen in an anime before somebody will when they want to talk about something but they kind of want to do a sort of a uh Almost like, uh, you didn't hear it for, from me sort of thing, where it's like, I'm saying it, but I, I'm not really saying it. Like, if you call me out on it or bring it up later, I never said that. Like, that's the implication when someone says that, like, oh, I'm just sleep talking. I mean, that's obvious, but basically, that's, uh, that's how that goes. And that's when she starts to, like, really just open up, you know, about, about her feelings towards Awachan and streaming and, like, like, obviously, my, my recap can't, can't do it justice, but talking about how, how hard of a worker she is and hoping that she would find her find her way, find a, like, you know, work hard and find success with it and, like, enjoy herself, like, and all, like, basically wishing for the, the best for her and all that and being a, being a fan of her, like, like, being a mother, a fan, all that, all that good stuff. And she just, like, under the covers opening up to her and then we have 
And we have Awa-chan, you know, kind of reciprocating as well. Like, she also goes into the covers as well. You know, talking talk, talk about Masudo and her support and all that good stuff. And eventually there's, like, under the bed. Under, under the cover. Under the bed. Under the, on the bed, under the covers. Faces close to each other. Probably plenty of blushing. Well, definitely plenty of blushing. But it's dark, so you can't see it too much. And then we get an actual, like, uh... I mean, uh, probably... I mean, I don't think it's like literally a dream, probably more just like a visualization, like a fancy artistic visualization, but still very dream-esque. But but yeah, talking about like mean comments online and my show getting angry for her sake and, and her like defending her, talking about how great she is and her art and all that and how much she appreciates her. And it just keeps going up and up and up, like just the pure, I don't even know what the best word for it is, like the... The love they have for each other, you know, their desire to support each other, to be with each other, to hope for the best for each other, like, whatever you want to call all that coalescing together. Uh, it just kept going up and up, and to the point where they literally say they love each other as they hold hands in bed together, as, as, as the credits roll. Like, like, <laughs> I mean, I've seen actual Yuri shows that did not have as, that, did not have as good of Yuri scenes as that, if that sentence makes sense at all, right? Like, that was just some absolutely beautiful stuff that puts a lot of Yuri shows to shame. Like, they wish they could nail that level of just, uh, like, heart-to-heart -heart feelings, opening up to each other, loving each other, supporting each other, being there for each other, encouraging each other, just, you know, physically, you know, embracing each other, you know? Like, again, I wish I was more articulate to really, to really get it across, but... This was just a 10 out of 10 masterclass on how to do this sort of thing. This, from start to finish of the episode, it, it, the focus is on them and their relationship, and it just kept going and going and going until it just, like, fired off, like, just a Yuri avalanche just all over the show, right? So, I'm thoroughly satisfied with what I watched here. That's, I think that's safe to say. But, yeah, just absolutely beautiful. A masterpiece of an episode. Like this, this is this is probably going to be my favorite episode of the whole show. Like I know that's a bold thing to say, but after this, like it's it's hard to really compete with this. Like a lot of the episodes are funny or crazy or unhinged or unpredictable, and that's fun and all. But like this, this this kind of focus on something and the 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 payoff by the end of it with after all the build up toward for that focus. Like you 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 can't beat that really with some random crazy shenanigans with other characters that you kind of get along with like it's, it's just it's just almost apples and oranges you can't really compare it to just the depth of what we got here so just just amazing i think i'm just gonna ramble if i end up talking if i thought if i spend more time on this so i'm gonna end it off here but uh just 10 out of 10 episode hopefully you enjoy my reaction to it and hope to see you in the next video until then bye bye